trust you're following your intuition to bring you right here and right now. We're gonna work a lot on the backs of the legs today. So just find your feet hip width apart right underneath your hips. Slight bend in your knees, start to work everything out. I like to just clear the energy and create a connection between your body and your mind and then incorporating the breath, allowing the breath to move you. We'll bring the arms up by our sides, inhale. Exhale, hands come together and drop at your heart, your center. And just gently close your eyes and allow yourself to create an intention. The definition of intention can be translated into purpose or into stretching. So what can you stretch yourself into today? Where can you anchor your reminder on what purpose? Take another round of breath in and out. Through the nose, developing a slight constriction in the back of the throat for your victorious breath. The hands will fall by your sides. Swing open again, bending the knees, opening up the chest. We'll take another round like that where you inhale around and exhale through. We'll take the right arm back, leaving the left arm 90 degrees, keeping the hips forward, follow it around and send it off to the left. Inhale. Oh, that felt good. Let's do it right and left one more time. Follow the rhythm of your own breath. Inhale to expand. Exhale to come back. Inhale, both arms around. Hands to prayer, bend the knees, let the upper body just melt over the lower body. You can release the hands or grab opposite elbows. Keeping a generous bend in the backs of the legs and in the knees, you can shake out your head, no. Shake your head out, yes, yes, yes. Take a couple rounds of breath here, just becoming more heavy in the upper body as you rock back and forth or side to side. Letting energy just drain from the crown of the head. Think about something maybe you don't need, but you can just leave on the mat. Relax your shoulders, relax your face. Another big breath in. Let it all out. The hands will come to the floor. And then find your hands on your shins. Inner thighs roll out, crown of the head stretches forward, and exhale, fold down. Let the left hand stay, bend through the left knee, inhale, open up your right side body, lifting up that right arm to the sky, roll out the wrist. On your out breath, bring the right arm down. On your in breath, bend the right knee, inhale, left arm up, roll out the wrist. And for a few more times on each side, maybe three, just follow the rhythm of your breath where you inhale to come up, exhale to come down, and just create more space in your body as your practice is a safe place for you to explore. So follow your own breath and let it feel good. Forget what it looks like and just follow how it feels. Balance it out. We'll go one more on each side because that feels good. Try to keep the hips together a little bit. And then both arms are down. Whenever you get there, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Two more times, inhale, halfway lift. Push into the shins, inner thighs roll out, crown of the head comes forward. Exhale, fold down. And again, with purpose, stretch the spine. Exhale all the way down. Bend the knees so much. Maybe plant your hands to drop to your knees. And then we massage out the spine. Make little S's and you can come into cat-cow or any variation that feels good and right for your body. So with cow, we'll lift the collarbone, lift the chin, extend through the throat, 
with cat, think about Halloween, curve the back, tuck the tailbone under, chin floats into the chest. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Two more breaths. And this last round, go as far as you like. Inhale back to neutral. Before we get into down dog, let's stretch through the forearms and the wrists. So flip your fingertips in to face you with the palms down on the mat. I like to make little circles like we do with those S's. And just try to keep the fingerprints down. The heels of the hands can rise up a little bit with each motion. Work out any of those cracks. And then on your next out breath, slowly release the breath and peel the heels of the hands up, keeping the fingerprints in. And then roll it all the way back. And just give your wrists a little bit of space before we do the counter stretch. Maybe little circles or forwards and back, little piano game. And then we'll place the fingertips in, keeping the palms up. Sensation. Try to rack your knees underneath your hips for proper alignment. And just rock it out and come to a space of sensation. If anything starts to hurt, we're going to stop immediately, promise, okay? <laughs> However, know the difference between pain and sensation and create a strong mental attitude to go into the sensation rather than back off. So if you think about the sensation as a cliff edge, keep breathing. You get right to the edge. You, you don't hang your, your feet off the edge. You just get right to it, look over, feel that sense of maybe falling, and then pull back. Try to keep the fingernails down as you peel the heels of the hands. Ooh, baby. That one got me good. Roll it out. Feel the difference. Feel the space you're creating. Give some gratitude for this process. Little piano, whatever feels right. And when you're done with this, I'll meet you in a plank. So we wanna just have the hands right underneath the shoulders, step back left and right, squeeze the belly under as if you're pulling into cat back. And then bend the knees, let them sink towards the floor, but keep them hovering. Push your hips back to your heels and extend the hips to the sky. We can pedal it out in downward dog, bending opposite knee, working the opposite heel down, and then try to press your chest back to your knees. You can keep the knees bent as much as it feels good. Try to rotate the shoulders away from the ears, equal weight in both the hands and all four corners where the fingerprints are in. You can shake out the head. And just keep that pedaling going where it feels good and right. Try not to dip off too much into one arm. And you might notice one side could be tighter than the other. So you just want to breathe into that space a little bit more. Let your chest collapse towards your knees. Let your head hang heavy. You'll start to feel it working in the shoulders. Roll them down the back. Lift up your right leg, leaving your left foot down. Heel works towards the floor. We just roll out the ankle. And then bring your knee to your nose, shoulders over wrist, and drop it down into a lunge. Keeping your left hand planted, squeezing your thighs together, in breath, brings the right arm up. And roll out the wrist of the top, that might feel mighty good. On your out breath, you come back down, frame the foot. Squeeze the inner thighs together, use your low belly to lift yourself up and swing around, arms back. Front knee bent, stretch through the hip. We'll take another one of those. Inhale, circle around. Opening up, hands come to a goal post. Lift your chest, squeeze your belly, little back bend. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, straighten the front knee. Reach forwards, pop that back leg in a bit and fold down. Try to energetically pull the right hip back and the left hip forward, just so you can feel the sensation in the back of the leg as it's stretching.
stay close to your intention and close to your breath. I like to lift my chest up on the inhale to peel myself a little bit more forward. Maybe hop that back leg in so that it can feel good and right in the stretch. And as I exhale, I let my upper body just hang heavy over my low. Inhale and lift if it feels right. Exhale and fold. Or just stay melting. The pose is working just because you got in it. Take another two breaths here. Sometimes I like to play with my balance when my eyes are closed and hold on to my ankle. Then replant the hands. Step back with the right leg. Drop it to a plank. Ooh, I feel the difference already. Bend your knees. Let the hips drop back to the heels and then extend the tailbone to the sky. Pedal it out, rotate the shoulders down, chest pushes back to the knees. And just for a moment, witness your progress. Feels good. I can feel the difference in my right leg. Without further ado, take that left leg up, melt that right heel down, roll out the ankle, two circles left, two circles right, keeping equal weight in both the hands. Send your knee to your nose for a little bit of a belly crunch, and then drop the left foot where the left hand was placed, keeping the right hand down, squeezing the thighs together to square off the hips, lift up that left arm, and roll out the wrist. I wanna to try to keep one line. Shoulders stacked over each other, chest opens, crown of the head extends, and on out breath, let it drop down. We're gonna take two arm circles. So here's where we squeeze the thighs together. You can feel your right hip lift. Squeeze your low belly to lift from your core. And then circle the arms around twice. Inhale to expand, to open your heart. Exhale to let it go. In breath, open to new possibilities. Out breath, reach forward, straighten that front leg. Pop the back leg in a bit. I only have about six fists between my feet. Inhale up, exhale, fold over, keeping the left hip back and the right hip tracking forwards. If you tried it on the other side, feel free to lift on inhale and on out breath. Create more sensation. Let's take five more rounds of breath. Let it feel good. If you need to adjust the back leg, bringing it in or bringing it out, whatever feels good and right. If you wanna play with balance, close your eyes. One more breath. Sink into it, melt into it. Just allow your body to relax. On your next in-breath, lift up, step both feet back. We come to a plank, bend the knees, drop the hips back, and then extend them to the ceiling. Pedal it out, feel that difference, acknowledge yourself. It feels good to stretch my body, to create intention within my purpose. Now we're gonna gently bend the knees and walk the hands back to the feet. Inhale, halfway lift, hands come to shins, inner thighs roll out, crown of the head reaches forward. Exhale, fold down, let's do that again. Big breath in, big breath out. Sweep the arms around, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. Just realign with your intention momentarily. Inhale your arms around. And exhale, forward fold. Walk it back out to a plank slow. Bend the knees, inching forward 10 or so steps. 
set up your plank with care, strong core. We're gonna breathe for five breaths. So as if you're pulling your tailbone under, tucking your hip bones to your ribs, extending through the shoulder blades, extending through the crown of the head. Another breath. And then slowly lower, bending the elbows back, allowing the shoulders and the whole body in one line to melt down. And then untuck your toes, make a pillow with your forearms, bend your knees and just windshield wiper your legs side to side. Take a wee bit of a rest. Mm. Think about how good it feels to stretch your body. And then relax the feet down, hands will come underneath, your shoulders, fingers facing forward. Try to bring the legs together as if there's magnets on your heels, your knees, and your inner thighs. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Chin faces forward and inhale, lift up. Press through the hands. And then drop your right shoulder off to the left, looking over the left shoulder. Inhale to center. Exhale, other side. We'll go one more time on each side, let it feel good. And drop it down. Tuck the toes on a big out breath, press the ground away. <sighs> Bend your knees, drop them down, cross your ankles, let your hips sit back and your feet come forwards. Any readjustments that are necessary. And then take the fleshy part of your gluteus out of the equation so that you can sit on your sit bones. Bring your feet together, bring both arms up and around. And as you exhale, flex the feet towards your face, reach forward, squeeze your belly, keep reaching longer, as if you could hug whatever was there in front of you. Keep stretching and then melt down. If you can't grab for your toes, it is good and right to cup underneath your kneecaps and just let your head hang. And really feel a nice deep shoulder stretch. And just get you in the position of surrender. Take five more deep breaths here. So either cupping underneath, pulling on your ankles, your calves, or right at your feet. Whatever feels good. Take two more breaths here. And on your next in-breath, as if it were a halfway lift, hands come to shin, sit up straight. And now exhale, grab behind your knees and float down. Take a breath here. Stay for the out-breath. And start to walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. We'll track the right heel into the left inner thigh. Square off the chest towards the left foot if it's flexed towards your face. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, float forwards. Again, if you can't grab for your foot, just cup underneath your calf. Keep pulling your chest forward and melting your head down. And if you want to increase the stretch, you can take your opposite hand. In this case, it's our right hand to the edge of our left foot. And then I feel that stretch through my shoulder, but be careful with the right knee lifting up. Just let it melt down. Take another breath here. Create stillness in the mind and the body. Two more breaths. And then on your in-breath, lift yourself back up. Ooh, feels good to roll up my neck. And then we'll just switch it out. Left heel pans to the right inner thigh. Right leg is flexed towards your face. Inhale up. Exhale, reach and reach and reach, just like we did with both legs, until you collapse down. 
and breathe. Allow that left knee to just melt towards earth. Let any tension melt away. If you went for it on the other side, take the opposite hand to the outside of the foot and just relax down. Create stillness in the mind and the body where any thought just melts behind the breath. Last big breath. Start to roll up on inhale. Roll out your neck. Let both feet come together. And then just roll onto your back. Maybe use your forearms to drop back gently. Let the hips open up as if the knees were magnetically drawn to the earth. Let them just open. Let the body become heavier. Maybe roll the shoulders underneath the back. It could be nice to rock your head side to side. Give your skull a little bit of a massage. Allowing the posture to do the work. Letting the effort melt away. Palms can be facing up to rotate the shoulders open. Take two more rounds of breath here. feet flat. Hug one knee at a time into center and massage out your low back. Little circles round and round both directions. Whatever feels good. And then we'll allow the legs to go flat. Straighten them out. Allow the hands to come by your sides, palms facing up. Maybe a little massage in the skull once more as we prepare for Shavasana. A space for us to safely absorb our practice. To give gratitude for our body and our mind connection. Gratitude for the capability of being able to practice. And we can make a wish for our bodies to remain strong and healthy. Channel some of the energy just created space for into your heart center. Take a few breaths, relaxing into that safe space in your heart. We'll take five more breaths. To give your mind something to do, you can count. these next two breaths. Imagine your body getting heavier on the ground on the exhale. Imagine your eyes and cheeks and tongue relaxing. Shoulders 
shoulders relaxing. Upper back and the neck. All the way down the spine, passing mid back and low back. Swirling around the outer hips. Everything relaxes in the legs. for two more breaths. On your next in-breath, hug the left knee in. Hug the right knee in. Drop them off to the left side and let the arms come out wide. Your chin will tuck off to the right. Relax the left shoulder, relax the right shoulder. Relax the head. Relax the legs. One more in and out breath here. through center, drop them off to the right, and let your chin lead off to the left, relax the shoulders, melt the legs, soften the face. Let those two components back out. And gently bring your chin to the right shoulder. Start to roll off onto the right side and you can use your right bicep as a pillow just for a moment. Lay in this position that you were born from and create a sense of rebirth. Old energy has shed and you've left it on the mat. Now you can fill up with any new energy you wish. Take a breath to lock it in. Perhaps a new intention or to piggyback on the previous. How do you want to show up in the world? On your next breath, use the left hand to push yourself up. And we'll find ourselves in a seated position comfortably. Whether it's cross-legged or butterfly, anything that relaxes you. Bring your hands to your knees to pull your shoulders back and extend your alignment in your spine. Drop the shoulders down, tuck the tailbone under. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, hands to prayer, let them drop at your heart, tuck your chin, bowing to yourself. As I bow to you, with the light within me respects and honors the light within each and every one of you. Thank you. We go in peace. We go in love. Namaste. Thank you.
you so much. It is a pleasure guiding you and I can't wait 